welcome to the Borealis Experience. I'm your host Aurora and I'm very happy to be spending some time with you today. Today I want to talk about the importance of celebrating yourself. Many of you know that it was my birthday yesterday. It was a lovely day. I watched a soccer game with my family, Germany against England. Germany lost <laughs> 2-0. And then afterwards we went to the lake and enjoyed some cooling water in this hot temperature. And I received so many messages, maybe over 200 messages to praise me, to congratulate me and to make me feel loved. And what I noticed was that at first I had a hard time to receive it. I had a hard time to receive thank you for my work, thank you for being there and a precious light for others. There was a part in me that totally wanted to reject it and not read it. And this is what I want to talk about today with you. I feel in our society here in Northern America and Europe even, it is a bad thing to be proud of yourself. It is a bad thing to celebrate yourself. You're right away seen as a narcissistic, selfish, vain person. And not to say that it doesn't exist out there, but I feel we're doing quite the opposite. We feel that most of the time we can only relate to other people in bringing ourselves down, making ourselves small. On a physical level, I know it totally exists in a conversation with women, maybe with guys too, but we're always trying to make the other person feel good in expressing how unhappy and sarcastic we feel with our body. And when it comes to our job, our romantic relationships or friendships, it is also usually negative things that we share because maybe we feel if we express that we're so happy and content in reality that people will be jealous, people will feel small and inferior and we'd rather share the shitty parts of our relationships and our jobs than the good parts. And don't get me wrong, like sometimes it's fun to just purge out, vent and say everything that is negative. But I want to emphasize that it is so important to focus on the things that are good. And if you share those good things with people, yes, they will be the people who are jealous and insecure, not confident with what they have, but you will also inspire them to step up their game. And this is so important, just as important as being brutally honest with your loved ones and your friends because you help them grow. It is very important to share your authentic journey and to not boil it down 
to not dim your light. Because you do that to your own detriment. You have to shine bright. You have to be proud of yourself and feel good with everything you have accomplished. If you constantly feel that you cannot share your successes, you cannot share your happiness, you have to radically change your surroundings, especially the people you're interacting with. You cannot run around and always express the negatives in order to make another person feel more comfortable. You have to express yourself authentically, of course not fake playing of, of goodness, but authentically. And then others might feel inferior for a little bit, might feel challenged for a little bit, but that is okay. You can be an inspiration to them. You don't need to be an asshole. And purpose fully make them feel shitty. You help them to get unstuck. You help them to look into the mirror. You help them to become their best version. And most importantly, you allow yourself to be authentic. Because it is not being authentic to hide good things from others and to, yeah, hide the fact that you might have made really good money, that you might have made, made met your soulmate and you're so incredibly rich and happy with your life. So in German we say, throw some confetti at yourself. Be happy with where you're at. Appreciate yourself fully and express this, show this to other people too. Chances are you will live a more authentic life when you do that because the people that are not good for you are going to fall off and swim in bitterness and self-pity. And the people that are meant to be in your life, you're automatically going to magnetize into your life. And from your heart, you will feel so real and so authentic that words can't really explain. Thank you so much for listening to this little episode here. I hope you understand what I mean and I hope you receive the message well. If you like this podcast here, make sure to subscribe, make sure to leave me a review on Apple Podcast. It is the strongest currency between podcasters out there and the competition is big. I will be out there very soon again. In the meantime, think and ponder a little bit about all the good things that you have and learn to express it, learn to appreciate it and embrace it. Expressing the goodness is appreciating the goodness, which will attract more goodness. <laughs>